Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, Chief Investment Strategist of Standard & Poor's Equity Research Services. At this week's Investment Policy Committee meeting, we voted to lower our year-end price target for the S&P 500. S&P's Investment Policy Committee voted to reduce its year-end 2006 target for the S&P 500 to 1315 from 1385. We now expect the 500 to post a full year price advance of 5% versus our earlier estimate of an 11% gain. Our recommended asset allocation remains unchanged at 45% U.S. equities, 20% international stocks, 20% bonds, and 10% cash. We believe the primary risk to second half price appreciation lies with sub 10% growth in second quarter earnings projected by S&P analysts for the S&P 500 combined with the potential that second-half earnings growth estimates will need to be lowered as a result of an overly aggressive Fed, stubbornly high oil prices, and a rapid deceleration in estimated real GDP growth. Consistent with this downward adjustment in our year-end target, S&P's Equity Strategy Group raised its recommended weighting for the S&P 500 consumer staples sector to overweight from market weight, citing the sector's defensive attributes in light of increasing concerns regarding slowing economic and earnings growth. In addition, we lowered our suggested exposure to the information technology sector to underweight from market weight, highlighting operating earnings for the S&P 500 IT sector are projected to advance only 4% in 2006 versus the 12% earnings growth expected for the S&P 500. Yet this cyclical sector's PE on 2006 estimated operating earnings continues to trade at a 31% premium to the S&P 500's PE of 14.9. So there you have it. Even though S&P lowered its year-end price target for the overall stock market and altered a few recommended weightings, we remain single-digit bulls due to the attractive valuations at present levels. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you next week.